Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful week. Today is Sunday of the sixth week of this term, which is the second term of the fall semester. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> Oh boy, okay. I can start out by telling you that I am exhausted. I believe this term has been a lot more involved and demanding than the first term earlier this semester. Or it could just be that I am tired because I have already completed one term and this is my second term this semester. I am not sure, but I can tell you that I am exhausted. I am mentally exhausted. It is hard to get anything done, to really concentrate for long periods of time. I am finding myself taking more breaks and even then, I feel like the breaks are not long enough. Of course, I had a lot of homework this week, just like any other week. I was hoping this week it would start dying down, but no, there was, I think, more homework than last week. It was overwhelming. But no, this week has definitely been the most demanding week of all. Today is Sunday, as I stated earlier, and I am still doing homework. I have not completed all my homework for this week. I am pretty much close to being done. I have about maybe one or two more hours to invest in my homework before turning in my last assignment for this week but as I mentioned earlier I did have a lot of homework in regards to my health information systems class I had two chapters to read the first chapter was on clinical information systems and the second chapter was on administrative information systems both these chapters did not really introduce a lot of new information based on my 14 years of experience in healthcare there was one information information system that was interesting. I think it was the decision support information system. The decision support information system helps medical organizations identify areas where they could increase their revenue or areas where they are losing revenue. So definitely it's more on the finance side of things. Other than that, there was not too much new information in my readings. We also had a discussion and it was about about further discussing an information system of your choice. I selected the encoder, which I felt was easiest for me at this point. As I said earlier, <laughs> I am tired. I am taking advantage of where I can streamline my schoolwork. So I felt that my time would be better spent somewhere else. So I quickly composed a post for that specific discussion regarding information systems. And mine was on the encoder. Something very interesting happened regarding my post. I posted my post on the encoder and I received about seven replies from my classmates on that particular post. My post was one of the most popular posts this week and it was just on the encoder. But it seems like a lot of my classmates have experience using the encoder so that facilitates their responses and of course they're probably as tired as me and they don't want to spend too much extra time researching a health information system that they are not familiar with. This week for my health information system class, I also had part three of the course project to complete, which consisted of multiple parts. Part A was about how you would go about implementing the specific EHR you selected. My professor required two paragraphs on how I would implement an EHR. Part B was regarding creating a timeline on the different phases of implementing implementing the EHR and part C was creating a table where we would capture what members of the medical organization would be needed to complete certain phases of the implementation of the EHR. That assignment took quite a bit of time. The funny thing is that these assignments for the course project take quite a bit of time, but they're only worth 25 points. So you have to think smart about your time and about the overall impact of these particular assignments on your overall grade. The course project assignment is 50% of my overall grade. So it is a very big part, even though it's only worth 25 points. It does require you to do a good job, even though again, it's only worth 25 points. So basically for my health information system class, that was pretty much it. I was done with all my schoolwork for that particular class by Saturday. Regarding my second HIM class, which is healthcare data analytics and information governance, this was the first week we talked about information governance and we have completed our coursework on healthcare data analytics. I mentioned in another video, this class is 
split between healthcare data analytics and information governance. This week was the first week of information governance and I could tell you that it was a lot. We had two separate readings out of two different textbooks and I haven't showed these textbooks so I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you. Out of this textbook, which is titled Implementing Health Information Governance, and it looks like this, it's an Ahima book. It's a very small book. We had three chapters assigned out of this book and it was on health information governance. Our second reading was out of this book textbook oh my god it's heavy again it's an ahima textbook and it's titled health information management concepts principles and practice sixth edition out of this book we had to read chapter three which was on data governance and information governance this week from this particular class i had one chapter to read out of here which was about 25 pages and i had three chapters to read out of here which was about 40 pages and in my other class, in my health information systems class, I had two chapters to read. So this week was very, very heavy on reading. And I think that's one of the reasons I am really, really mentally exhausted because I have so much reading to do. For this particular class, this whole new introduction to information governance, which I've never had any type of training on information governance. This information governance subject is completely new to me. I've heard it a lot throughout these years and most recently with the transition to electronic health records, definitely I hear a lot about health information governance, but I never really knew what it was and it was never really talked about in my associate's degree program. I remember preparing for the RHIT and one of the domains that was really challenging for me was the healthcare information governance because it was something that was really never discussed in my associate's degree program even though the domain was really small and percentage wise it wasn't really significant to really impact my overall grade on the RHIT. I remember even reaching out to my instructors for my associate's degree program and letting them know that I felt that their program didn't really prepare me for that specific domain of the RHIT. Overall, this week was really heavy because of the reading. The fact that this is week six and now there's a completely new humongous concept being introduced to us, which is information governance, it really has become a lot. It is kind of stressful. The reading out of these textbooks is not very easy. And as I said, I have no experience with information governance and that could be one of the issues as well. But definitely this information governance concept has added to my feeling of being overwhelmed. In addition to information governance, we also learned about data governance. I've also heard about a lot of these subjects I hear about via AHIMA and through the AHIMA journal. In addition to our readings this week for this class, I had to do an additional assignment which consisted of answering questions about our reading out of this book. We also had had to do a discussion which was on information governance and we had to again reply to two of our classmates we also had a quiz on the reading out of this book so typically we don't have quizzes in this class but every time we have to read out of this book we do have a quiz the quiz was based on identifying a scenario as either data governance or information governance information governance focuses on the policies procedures and processes of information data governance focuses on data that's very important to keep in mind because as I said earlier, they are different. We also had an additional assignment to complete this week, which is the assignment that I still have to submit and I will be completing later today. I already have my first draft and I have to go in and just make a few changes and I think it's going to take me about one or two hours to complete and finally turn in. The assignment consisted of writing a letter to the CEO and the board of directors of a hospital and you are the CIO, the chief information officer and you are presenting the idea of an information governance program to the CEO and the board of directors of the hospital and within that letter we are required to tell the CEO and the board of directors what is a information governance program what are the benefits of an information governance program and how an information governance program provides those benefits we have that to complete as well overall this class was very demanding 
demanding this week. Definitely a lot more demanding than my health information systems class. And this is where I spent most of my time this week learning about information governance and data governance. But overall, even though it was a very difficult week, I have managed to almost complete all my homework. One good thing about this week is that my assignment as a medical coding tutor for the college has ended, which I'm sad that it has ended because I really enjoy working with the students. But at the same time, I am excited that it has ended because it will allow me more time to focus on my schoolwork. I still have two more weeks to go. We have week seven and week eight to complete. I will be done the Friday before Christmas Eve. I did look ahead a little bit to figure out how I'm going to manage my time and figure out how I can give myself some time to escape a little bit and give myself a break from all the schoolwork. My healthcare data analytics and information governance class is not going to give me a break anytime soon, maybe just during the last week of school, which is the eighth week. But next week, this class is also very demanding. My other class, my health information systems class, things are definitely starting to slow down. Next week, I only have one assignment to complete and one discussion and one chapter to read. So that is really going to help out with trying to balance my other class, which is going to really demand a lot. And for my eighth week for my health information systems class, it's going to be fairly, fairly easy. I'm really looking forward to the end of this term and just getting a nice break from schoolwork because it has been overwhelming. And I am at the point where my mind <laughs> is on overload and sometimes I'm having difficulty separating the two classes even though a lot of the material does overlap. So I think that's where the confusion comes in, the fact that the material does overlap. And it's all about health information management, so it's gonna happen. Technically, this term and these two classes are the last two classes where I'm really gonna keep learning about health information management. As I get closer to graduating, my classes become more focused on management and leadership. I am taking a leadership and HIM class next term and then I'm also taking a projects management class the second term of the spring semester and I am going to be doing my internship which is also sometimes referred to as a practicum and my capstone. In those two classes I am really not going to be learning anything new but I am going to be applying what I've learned throughout my HIM education. I know this is the last of the material where I'm really having to learn new information and complete the assignments to show that I understand the material. I hope you had a good week and thank you for watching and I am looking forward to seeing you next week and getting a week closer to the end of this term.